Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizai with BuildBox. In this video, I'm gonna show you the new way that we're putting BuildBox games onto iOS devices. So recently, Apple just released the new iPhone 11, and with that, on September 20th, 2019, they made a few updates to Xcode. So I'm gonna show you what those changes are in this video, and I'm gonna show you how to take your BuildBox games and put them onto your iPhone, on your iPad, and all of your iOS devices. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing you want to do is fire up BuildBox and make sure that all of your export modules are downloaded. This is indicated by the progress bar in the bottom right hand corner. When you open up BuildBox or a new version of BuildBox for the first time, you'll need to re-download the new export modules. Once the modules download is complete, this little window will pop up and let you know that it's done. After that, you can press OK and now we can export our games onto different devices. Once you have your modules downloaded and your game is complete and ready for export, you simply go up here to the top left hand corner and select File, then Export, and then select iOS. Next, you may receive this warning here where it says no bundle ID is specified. Bundle ID stands for bundle identifier and is mostly used for submitting your game to the App Store. So you don't really need to worry about it if you just want to play your game on a regular iOS device. So you can go ahead and change the bundle ID in the settings if you would like, or you can just simply press continue. Next, BuildBox is going to try to save your game file or your BB doc. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop and I'm going to just name it Game Example. Perfect. I'll go ahead and click the Save button and then wait a moment for it to save. Great, now that BuildBox has saved your game file and saved your BB doc, it's going to prompt you and ask you what would you like to name your exported game folder. For this example, I'm going to name the exported game folder Game Example as well. I'll hit the Save button and then I'll wait for the iOS game folder to be exported. Now we're done with BuildBox and we can go ahead and close the BuildBox window or minimize it. You can see here that the game example BB doc has been saved to my desktop as well as the game example iOS folder. The next thing you want to do is double click on your game example folder and open it up. You can also open up the iOS folder and then you want to look for the bbplayer.xcode proj. That stands for bbplayer.xcode project and you want to double click on the Xcode project to open it up in Xcode. I'll go ahead and exit out of the window here and Xcode will open up in just a second. So this is Xcode, and if you do not have Xcode, it's very easy to get and it's free. You simply go over here to the App Store, and you go to the Mac App Store, and you just search for Xcode here in the search bar. I'll go ahead and search for Xcode, and you can see here it's the first one that pops up, and you just download it for free. It does take a little while to download because it's a larger file, but it's super, super easy to get. And I'll go ahead and exit out of this Mac App Store window, and then go back to Xcode here. Okay, the first thing you want to do once Xcode is open is you want to go up here to the top left corner and select BB Player. Make sure that it is the one with the blue icon here to the left, and then we're going to see a list of menus up here in the top center. Awesome. So here is actually where the major change has happened with Xcode. Before, you used to be able to choose your development team here in this general tab. But now what you have to do is you have to go over here to signing and capabilities. And you can see now the section where you select your development team is over here. If you already have an Apple developer account and registered your development team with Xcode, it's as easy as just selecting this drop down menu and selecting your development team right here. But if you have not done that yet and you're new to Xcode, then you want to select add an account. If you have not set up your Apple developer account yet, I'll provide a link where you can do so in the description below. It's very, very simple to sign up through Apple and it does cost $99 a year. I'm going to go ahead and use my personal Apple developer account for this example and I'll go ahead and block the email for privacy. So all you have to do is put in your Apple ID and your password and you're good to go. Great, so I'm registered now and I can go ahead and exit out of this account window. Now it's just a matter of going up here to the team drop down menu and then selecting your development team. Go ahead and give Xcode a few seconds to create a provisioning profile and signing certificate. 
and you may run into a problem with the bundle identifier just like last time. That's only because I've used this bundle identifier in the past, but if I simply just add a random series of letters or numbers to that bundle identifier and hit the try again button, it will go ahead and update a new provisioning profile and an assigning certificate. Okay, great, we're almost done. Now all we have to do is go up here to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and this is where you can select the different devices that you can run the BuildBox game on. I should also mention that currently with BuildBox 3, none of the iOS simulators are currently working, but that will change down the road. We will get those working for BuildBox 3 eventually as well. Up here at the top, there's a little section where you can plug in your device and it will show up here and you can select that device to run your build box game on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of this little menu real fast and I'm going to plug in my iPhone. Once I connect my iPhone through a cable to my iMac, you can see here that it checks to make sure that I want to trust this computer. All you have to do is simply press the trust button and then put in your iPhone's password and you should be good to go. Great, now that we've trusted the computer, we're really, really close to being finished. Let's go ahead and go back up to the menu I showed you before, and now at the top you can see that my iPhone is being registered and I can select this device to run my BuildBox game on. So I'll go ahead and select my iPhone here, and then if you have not registered this device with your developer account, there will be a warning that shows up right here, and it's going to ask you if you would like to register the device with that developer account. All you have to do is select the register device button, it takes a few seconds, and then you're good to go. Now we can go up here to the top left corner and press the play button or the run button and then it will build the game and run the game on a device. If this pops up right here, all you have to do is put in your computer's login password, the password that you use to log into your user account, and then press the allow button. You'll see now that the build has succeeded and the game is starting to install on the iPhone. Okay, great. You can see that the game has been added up here in the top left corner. It is the gray icon that says BB Player. Right now, the game doesn't have an icon because I hadn't created one, but yours will eventually when you add yours. So I'll go ahead and just select the app, and you can see that the app fires up, and now I can play the Twisted Road game template that I chose in the beginning. All right, boxers, that's it for this video. I hope you thought this video was useful. Keep an eye out for more videos to come, and as always, keep on boxing.